I'm from North Africa, from Morocco, where I did my undergrad in agronomy, and then I joined the University of Minnesota as an exchange student first. I did my master's in soil science and in GIS here at the university. And following that, I worked for a co-op in the Midwest, where I was helping farmers, you know, manage this nitrogen issue, among other things. And that's where I became aware of the, how important it is to understand the variability within the field because I have sampled hundreds of fields for farmers and I've never seen a flat field that has the same potential. Whenever I look at those yield maps, I always see you know, an area with high, high yield, an area with low yield, yet I see a lot of farmers just using the same amount of nitrogen. So I think we have to get away from that way of thinking and using this technology now that is available with UAVs and remote sensing in general and GIS, geospatial data analysis, for example, we can uh, better understand the field and map the variability in the field so we can put fertilizer or in general input based on potential. My main project right now uh, has to do with um, detecting uh, deficiencies and nutrient deficiencies in corn plants. And I'm trying to do this by using uh, computer vision. Uh, the process of taking off the UAV is uh, pretty simple with uh, new technology and the platforms that we're using. I'm targeting in uh, small areas uh, and trying to, to find the details that are going to characterize the disease I'm looking for. We are gathering high resolution images that show the, the, le the, the leaves of the plants in detail so we can see the, the exact deficiency that we're looking for. We have developed um, an algorithm that uh, processes the images we collect and is able to identify nitrogen de deficiencies on, 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 on the plants. So when a, a corn plant is stressed in nitrogen, um, in the visual spectrum, it'll appear yellow to us. Um, there's other things going on in the the red edge and the near infrared region of the spectrum and so we can use uh, the imagery that we're collecting to quantify that. The biggest challenge with remote sensing data is to take what we're seeing and convert it into a recommendation. What is a farmer going to do? For every 100 pounds that are applied it's only taken up and using 50 pounds and that's never going to be perfect just because of the soil, the, nit the nitrogen cycle in the soil and how a lot of this organic nitrogen is being converted to inorganic nitrogen. Um, but if we can get it up to from 50% to 60 or 70%, that would be huge. Yeah, so that's what this technology has the uh, possibility to do.